Dr. Art Mullen here. Thank you so much for being here. Great to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Dr. Mullen has been a medical doctor for 50 years and you've been on radio and television and you have really committed yourself to trying to help people not only age gracefully but stay strong-minded and, and keep your your body's healthy and you live by example. Yeah, I think mental attitude is probably one of the keys mm. to anti-aging. You know, if you have a positive mental attitude and you try to be as happy as you possibly can on a regular basis, uh, I think laughing is a, something else that uh, we can include. Uh, I think that uh, that's probably one of the strongest recommendations I have for anti-aging. Of course, there's exercise and diet, and you know we can expound on that. But uh, positive mental attitude is so important. How do you keep yourself in a good mental yeah. mind frame? Yeah. So I think exercise is one of the keys. I mean, when I talk about exercise and all the benefits of it, you know, we can talk about better sleeping, uh, better digestion, improving your cardiovascular system, uh, basically improving every other aspect of your life. And, you know, when people run and they exercise or they walk or they jog or they bike or they swim, uh, it increases endorphins. These right. are little uh, chemicals in the brain that basically give you a much more positive positive mental attitude. So I think that that is one of the keys for people. So if they're isolated, you know, everybody can basically go out and say walk a mile, you know, and I suggest starting with a mile, you know, uh, walk it, jog it, crawl it is usually one of my uh, mantras, you know, and people just need to do it every day. So uh, it, it's kind of like an addiction, you know, yep. and it's a minimal addictive dose. And if people follow that for at least a 90 day period, uh, they'll feel better and they'll find so many aspects of their life that they're feeling better about, including their mental attitude, that they'll want to continue to do it. And if they stop, you know, they'll experience depression, anxiety, fatigue, insomnia, all the symptoms you might experience if you were addicted to a drug and then you withdrew that particular drug. In the social isolation, can you talk about that part of it, yeah. um, staying connected to people? Yeah. So when, when I do research studies, and I, I've written several books, you know, Dr. Molin's Anti-Aging Diet, and when we look at certain civilizations and have they improve their longevity and people live to be 110, one of the things is a social network. So you need to be in contact, you know, with that social network and kind of keep friends around you. I always tell people, get a lot of younger friends so that they're going to be <laughs> around, you know, when you uh, get to be 100 or 110. But social networking and family, family is so critically important. People, you know, I, I mean, I can't underscore the importance of having family and, and keeping in contact with your relatives, the cousins, the nieces, the nephews, uh, you know, your grandparents. And I, I think that's really uh, very, very important. How important is routine to keeping that up? Right, and I think that is very important. People need to have a set program. You need to have it on the calendar and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do and follow that routine every single day. I mean, for me, you know, I get up at five o'clock and, you know, I go out and I do at least five miles and I, you know, go to a 25 meter pool and I swim a mile. I mean, you know, that's... <laughs> I'm exhausted. That's, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's part of what I did today. And then in the afternoon, of course, I'll bike 10 miles, you know, but, you know, that that routine is yeah. so critically important to your overall mental attitude. The other thing is when people get isolated, a lot of times they'll, you know, think, well, I'm, I'm feeling a little depressed. I'm going to have some alcohol. So I think you have to really be careful, Which you know, as depressing. people get older, you know, I find older people start to drink more than younger people mm. because they're depressed and they're just trying to, you know, uh, comfort themselves in, in some way. And then yeah. their eating habits change. So, uh, you know, I think the diet and the, uh, you know, the alcohol, I think all of those are critical components to the whole anti-aging process. I mean, if people, you know, as they get older, they start to gain a little bit of weight and then they get depressed and then they're going to have some alcohol because they don't like the way they look or the way they feel. So I think uh, diet is important and, you know, eliminate the pasta, the rice, the potatoes, the bread. Those four components are the things that are going to put the most weight on you. Uh, try to minimize the amount of animal protein. Animal protein is 
fine, you know, uh, whether it's chicken or fish is usually what I recommend over the red meats, you know, because of the potential carcinogenic effects of the red meats. You know, so I think from the standpoint of diet, that's important. Caffeine, you can have at least uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine. I know you already had about 500, <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just a 16 ounce cold brew, doctor. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't get creamer in it, though. No, I know creamer. I drink that black. But I, I wanted to say, because I think we're going to be touching about this later, is that, you know, for those folks who are a bit older, right, and, you know, and our seniors as well, and a lot of their family has, has likely passed away, right? So they don't have that family network. But yes. Optum Health has created community centers. So even if you Great. are a senior, yes. really look into some of these community yes. centers, because that's a way to build that connection. Great idea. You know, and community is so important just in terms of, you know, where you can go on a regular basis. Right. If you can go to these community centers and have interaction with other people, you know. They even have I mean, a, you know, physical exercises yeah. like yeah. yoga, tai chi. I, I yeah. mean, just I, a lot I mean, is people offered People are energy, you know, and yep. you need to have yeah. that interaction with other people, people because that's energy. going to inspire you to feel better and want to do more. Dr. Art, thank you so much. And I should You're say, welcome. Dr. Art Mullen started a podcast, Hope You're Feeling Good, because yes. you retired after 50 years of practicing you medicine. You can't use that word with you. Yeah, he's like, but he... dude just ran five miles this morning. He's <laughs> going to go, he already swam, and he's going to go for another 10-mile bike ride I today. I know, we seem so lazy today, but we appreciate you. And I hope people check out your podcast because you thank give you. a ton of advice. Yeah. And one of the things that you're really big on, too, yeah. is preventative medicine, which hopefully then adds as people live longer, they live more healthy and beautiful yeah. lives. Right, and they can reduce the amount of medications that they're taking on Correct. a regular basis yes. by, and cost Im by implementing yeah. an exercise and diet program, and they're gonna save money uh, you know, on those prescription medical, medications. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Art, thank you so much. You're welcome.